for Into the Wild, I wrote, actually it was based on a magazine article, and so when I sold, that was my first real book, and uh, you know, so I sent in the magazine article and an, an editor bought it for a very small advance, and I had to keep, I wrote, I had, luckily just landed a, a job writing a monthly column for Playboy, where they paid $3,000 a month, which was, you know, more money than I, by an order of magnitude than I ever had. So I could write that column one week a month and write Into the Wild the other three weeks a month, and for three years, that's what I did. And then, and it was miserable, you know, it was dreck. But, and one day, right when I'd finished, when I turned in the book, the editor at Playboy called me up and said, John, I have terrible news. Are you sitting down? We're, we're going to kill your column. And I just was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and because I had the book, and... But this is, a, this is a cautionary tale to anyone who's considering a writer. The book had been accepted at Villard. My editor who had bought it left to go work at Vanity Fair, Doug Stump. And the new regime that came in killed all 60 books that he bought, including mine. And for over a year, my agent said, oh, we can sell this. You know, it's a good book. And no one would buy it. A very famous editor at Pantheon read the manuscript and said, this is unpublishable. And I was pretty depressed at that point. And luckily... Uh, a senior editor who worked under the publisher read it and said, you know what, we didn't pay much for this. It's kind of weird. Let's just throw it up on the wall and see if it sticks. And it almost didn't get published. That's not, I'm not exaggerating. And no one had any idea. People said, oh, you wrote this to make money. And no, I couldn't almost get it published. So serendipity plays a huge role in, in all of our lives. And especially as a writer, you know, you need some breaks. And that was a big break for me. Discern